This new suit is amazing, scientist! It's like I've got my old slingers back! Except it's actually not like you've got your old slingers back, because no one's seen a working slinger on this island in months. Those are prototype grapple gloves, and they are fragile. You're selling yourself short, scientist! They don't feel fragile at all! Check this out! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Spider-Man, be careful. You're blowing way past the suit's tension limits. And he sticks the landing. The crowd goes wild. Ah, 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 we love you, Spider-Man. Funny, right now your crowd consists of one person, me, and I am not going wild. In fact, I'm going the opposite. What's the deal, scientist? Why so uptight all of a sudden? Your orders were to test the functionality of the new suit. Yeah? Without breaking it. That suit represents a significant investment of seven resources and time. Please try not to blow it up on the first day. But what if someone's in danger? They'll handle it through the proper channels. Wait, my spidey sense is going crazy all of a sudden. Someone needs my help. Spider-Man, the war is over. Whatever's got you so riled up, I promise the Peace Syndicate can handle it. Can and will aren't the same thing. These bureaucratic agency types always find a way to ignore the little guy. Good thing Spidey's here. Wait, your suit's not calibrated for long distance travel. Who knows what could happen? Spider-Man! Hey, this is new, and I like it. Woo! Whoop! My spider sense is leading me toward this gas station. Look out, trouble. Here comes Spider-Man. Watch where you point that thing. This is a neutral outpost. I don't care who owns this place. My business is with you. Me? But I'm just a cashier. Uh-huh. And I'm here to make a withdrawal. Are things making sense yet? I, I don't know where the money is. They don't tell us anything, I swear. You'd think a loaded gun would make people into better liars. <sighs> oh, well. Any last words? What was that? Did you call the cops? Big mistake. No, 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 I swear, I didn't call anybody. I don't know who that is. Show yourself. I said come out already. I ain't scared of you. Maybe you should be. Gonna have to aim better than that. Uh-oh, is someone out of ammo? Looks like you'll have to fight me the old fashioned way. Put him up. As if I'm out of here. Don't let him get away! Wouldn't dream of it. Oh, come on! Where are all the cars? I need a ride, or I'm gonna lose them! I guess beggars can't be choosers! Ha! Huh, I can't believe that worked! Now mush, boy! After that scoundrel! That's it! That's it! We got him now! What the hell's going on up there? Get off my car! Your car? Given your recent behavior, I doubt you bought it fair and square. Fine, I ripped it off, just like you're gonna be! I'm about to be ripped off? Don't overthink it! Yeah, nice try, but fireproof suit. Ugh, ah, you'll pay for this, Spider-Man! Scientist, come in! Scientist, do you read? Surprisingly, yes. I'm shocked the comms still work after a display that ridiculous. Ridiculous? I caught the bad guy! He's right here, ready for pickup. And a syndicate squad is en route to deal with the criminal. You, on the other hand... Deserve an apology? Will be debriefed in my quarters. Come to Sanctuary immediately. You got it, pal. Eh, try again! You got it, boss? <sighs> Close enough. So, from my analysis of the suit's telemetry data, it seems like you swung yourself into a jet stream, dropped through a gas station roof, and rode a wild boar over rough terrain, all to apprehend a petty thief. He was armed and dangerous. So are the Syndicate. They literally exist to deal with day-to-day -day scoundrels like this guy, so that superheroes like you can get some well-deserved R&R. If there's one thing I've learned in New York, 
Peace just means I'm not looking hard enough. Somewhere, someone is in trouble. And somewhere, someone is working on it. Please, Spidey, just cool your jets for a little while. The people of this island worked really hard to give us a summer break. The least we can do is enjoy it. You and your buddies might be able to kick back and party without a second thought. But as long as someone might need me, I'm going to stay vigilant. Suit yourself. What's that bashing noise? It's coming from Imagine's room. Sounds like she's in trouble. Hang on. Spidey's on his way. Why won't it break? It's okay, Tsuki. You can pace yourself. We've got time. You've got time. Every second this blade remains intact is another second I spend as an I.O. weapon. I can't bear it any longer. Everything okay in here? Yes. Yes. Because it doesn't exactly look like it. Tsuki is trying to destroy her Omni Blade. Why? It's so cool. Because it's the blade that killed my brother. Tsuki, we've been over this. You were brainwashed. You weren't in control of your actions. Still, this blade took his life. It represents everything I'm trying to leave behind. But it's also the pinnacle of Katatek engineering. Enhanced by IO to be even more durable. I've been hacking at the hardest seven alloys all day and not even a scratch. Well, I bet I could smash it with a good swing or two. Give me a try. No, it has to be me. I have to break it into pieces. If someone else does it for me, it's not the same. Okay, okay. Just thought I'd offer to help. There's nothing for you to help with here. Please go. You sure imagined? I'm sure. If you want something to do, go check Origins quarters. I'm reading an unusual power spike in his sector. Ooh, that sounds dangerous. I'm on it. Come on, come on. Uh, this should come naturally to you. Just think cube. Ah, no wonder the Seven never uses Plesio psychic interfaces. They're a nightmare to fix. Hey, Origin, need a hand in here? Yeah. Oh, it's just you. A word of advice, Spider-Man. When someone is experimenting with a highly volatile piece of cube technology, don't sneak up on them. I didn't sneak up. I said, hey, what are you doing in here anyway? No offense, but it may be outside your limited human comprehension. Try me. As you know, before I joined the Seven, I ruled a faction known as the Last Reality, alongside my wife, the Cube Queen. When I could no longer tolerate her tyrannical leadership, I left for greener pastures. Uh, I hoped my absence would be a shock to her system, help her realize how far she had strayed from the light, but it ended up having the opposite effect. From what little scraps of info we have, the Cube Queen's solo reign was brutal and merciless. So why are you messing around with her tech? This is an archive cube, capable of storing vast wealths of historical information. I'm hoping if I learn more about the Cube Queen's reign, I can stop myself from ever thinking like her. What? No way you'd ever turn into an evil megalomaniac. You're a good dude, Origin. You say that, but despite what my biography would have you believe, she and I are the same species. I am capable of all her evils and more. So if I can just crack the encryption on this thing and actually learn about those evils. Let me give it a try. I really don't think that's wise. This is a piece of ancient arcane technology. How old are you? Hey, I'm smarter than I look. A version of me interned for Tony Stark. And Tony Stark is... Look, just give me a crack at it. Stop! What are you doing? Thinking outside the box. Uh, Origin? Is that supposed to happen? What do you think? Don't worry. This is just the kind of live combat test my suit needs. They're going to destroy my lab. Not if we destroy them first. Ha! Ugh! These guys are uh, tough. They've been trapped in the cube for who knows how many eons, waiting for the chance to kill some clumsy interlopers. We did it! 
Told you I could help out! Help out? You created the problem in the first place. Well... If it weren't for your meddling, that never would have happened. Now, please, go away before you summon anything else. But... That's an order, Spider-Man. Okay, okay, fine. If you want to help so bad, check on Haven and Harlow. Imagine told me they were slated for a recovery mission this afternoon. Could probably use an extra set of hands. Great idea. Thanks, Origin. Don't mention it. Haven! Harlow! Long time no see! What's up with you two? Whoa, whoa, why the long faces? You look like you're on the way to a funeral. Can it, Spider-Man? Please? It's a tough time for Haven right now. Why? What happened? Well, it's none of your business. But- And no, a grapple hook joyride will not cheer me up. Must be serious. Yeah, you could say that. Look, I appreciate you checking on us, but Spidey, the best thing you can do for me right now is leave me alone. You sure? She sure. Sorry. No, it's okay. Don't apologize. I'll just, uh, I guess I'll see you later. Maybe. What am I doing wrong? Why does nobody want my help all of a sudden? I need some mystical guidance on this. Strange! Strange! I need your help! What? Oh, you weren't doing anything important just now, were you? Oh, just maintaining the delicate balance of energies in the multiverse. Nothing important. Good. I think something's wrong with my aura. All of a sudden, nobody on the island wants my help. Well, judging by how forcefully you interrupted my meditation just now, I don't think your aura is the problem. Then what's wrong with me? You see this with superheroes pretty often, actually. They spend their whole lives fighting for peace. And then, when they finally get some, it's impossible for them to enjoy it. What do you mean? It's not an issue of wanting help, Spider-Man. Did you ever stop to consider maybe for the first time in a while the people of the island don't actually need it? No, because that's ridiculous. The war is over, Peter. We fought Io, and against all odds, we won. Sure, the next war is always around the corner, but for now, we have peace. Try to enjoy it. There are always problems. War or no war. Io or no Io. Peace just means I'm not looking hard enough. Let the Syndicate handle that. Breathe in, and breathe out. Enjoy this fleeting moment of stillness. You've earned it. Maybe you can relax while people are in trouble, but not me. I'm gonna make sure every single looper on this island is safe, no matter what it takes, starting with Haven and Harlow. Careful, Peter. Help that is unwanted is often resented. We'll see. Let's see if the tracker on this suit can pinpoint Haven's location. There! Don't worry, guys. Spidey's on his way. What's up, you guys? What are you doing here? Told you to leave Haven alone. Right, sure. I know. But I just thought... Wait, what's going on here? Is that... Yeah, Spider-Man. It's one of the last remains of the Clombos. You to say goodbye. Aside from the clone we saved from I.O., this might have been the last natural living Clombo. And now it's gone too. Oh, I'm sorry you guys. I, I should just go. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Wait, no. <laughs> you can stay if you want. You sure? I'm sure. But before you said- I know what I said. For so long, I've been afraid of losing the Clombos, because they were the only family I had. Once they were gone, I'd be all alone. But thanks to you guys, I'm not alone. And you never will be. I'll go on back. Give you guys some space. Nah. Let's go back. Together. I thought I might find you out here. There's a few more things we can try when you're ready. Scientist has a particle beam generator gathering dust at Synapse. And I'm sure Origin has some funky cube stuff lying around. It's not going to work. No matter how many wacky ideas we try, I'll never be free of it. Suki, can I ask you a question? Fine. Who are you doing this for? What? A sword is a sword. No matter how bloody its history, 
It won't hurt anyone else if you don't pick it up. I know your brother was wise enough to understand that. You could leave it in one of our vaults and it would never bother anyone again. So why don't you? Because that isn't good enough. Good enough? Stop moving the goalposts, Suki. Let's take a look at what you've accomplished, shall we? You overcame your violent programming, helped us destroy IO, free the island. As far as I'm concerned, you're way past good. Of course you'd say that. Your pet project. Okay, let's ask Spider-Man. Uh, sorry. I was just passing through. I wasn't eavesdropping or anything. Answer me this, Spidey. Is Suki a good person? Are you kidding? She's like the coolest, toughest, nicest robo-warrior I've ever met. You really think so? Sure, sure. Some of my alternate selves have issues with AI, but the rest of us have kindly suggested that they shut up about it. So, there'll always be some people who hate me. Yes, but that's just being human. You have any idea how many people hate me? And I've got more enemies than I can count, in multiple universes. It just comes with the territory of being alive and being yourself. The alternative would be... Withdrawing from society, not meeting anybody, maybe blowing myself up. And aren't you glad you didn't? Just being here, watching the sunset with Spider-Man and me. It's a decent sunset, I'll admit. And you have so many more to look forward to. Thank you.